Mrs. Rose, there are people here from the government. Did you know that almost all billionaires are in massive amounts of debt? I've been gutted. This debt can be worth tens of billions of dollars. Now, most billionaires are smart enough to take out that debt against their current assets like stocks or real estate. And this is why most of the world's billionaires don't actually pay taxes. But did you know that being a billionaire in some countries is extremely deadly? Let me explain. Some billionaires don't just hide their income to avoid taxes. Some must hide it to save their lives. This is where our friend Liu Yichin walks into the picture. You see, Liu is a billionaire, but he is a very strange man. Like many inspired figures, Lou came from nothing, being a taxi driver in his younger years. But you see, Lou is no ordinary boring billionaire. Lou is a deadly spender. Lou holds the record for the most expensive credit card purchase in the history of the world, worth over $170 million. And that's not even the deadly part. You see, Lu comes from China, which is run by a dangerous authoritarian regime. However, the Chinese wealthy class is filled with billionaires who love to spend their money on insane items in what looks like a never ending race to the top. But why spend millions of dollars on insane items? And what kind of items are they buying? Well, the answer for why they spend so much is simple. Clout, notoriety, and most importantly, respect. You see, there are over a thousand billionaires in China, and many of them need to win favor in the eyes of the government regime, the people, and most importantly, they need to make other billionaires look like idiots. This is why you'll see wealthy Chinese people with the strangest things, like this man with his golden car, or the founder of Alibaba, Baba spending $200 million on this massive yacht. And this is where our man Lu steps in. You see, as I told you earlier, Lu isn't your average man. Lu is dangerous. His eyes weren't set on spending like a fool on flashy cars or crazy yachts. Lu was fixated on the high life of old money Europe. But to achieve this, Lu couldn't do it alone. You see, Lu needed a partner in crime, his wife, Wang Wei. You see, Wei is no ordinary woman. Wei is the mastermind behind the cloud chasing scheme, art. But not just any ordinary art. They are addicted to buying art that is worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But why would anybody want to spend that much money on art? Are they just big fans of old paintings? Well, yes and no. You see, their motivation to buy this art is much more sinister than most people would realize. And it all comes back to the Chinese government. You see, China has a very strict set of principles that make sure that any investment coming into China must stay inside China and must never be allowed to leave. So if you happen to be a billionaire in China, you're locked in for life. This is where Lu and Wei hatched a brilliant plan. Spend tons of money on extremely expensive art using Chinese owned debt to fund your climb up the hierarchy in Chinese society and hope to stay in good favor with the regime while also having your money locked up in valuable art that you can transport out of the nation on a moment's notice. With such a master plan to play both sides of the coin here, they began collecting art. In 2014, the couple began picking up art pieces from all over the world and setting records for sale prices while they were at it. Lu paid an astonishing record-breaking $36 million for this Chinese porcelain cup. And not long after, they spent a record-breaking $45 million on this 600-year-old silk wall tapestry. This went on for years as they grew their collection from nothing to the most valuable private art collection in China. It's safe to say that this couple went all out when it came to art. But all that spending and showing off in the media began to draw the eyes of many Chinese citizens and most importantly, the Chinese government. So people started asking, why do they have such a massive priceless collection of art? And why is it locked away for no one to see? Unsurprisingly, this would not bode well for the plans of Lu and Wei. They were now on the verge of being brought into the public spotlight for very negative reasons, which could easily cause them to lose it all. This is when the couple had a brilliant idea to get back on the side of the people while proving to the government that their money will stay in China. This is when Lu and Wei opened their first ever art museum in Shanghai, China, their hometown. 
This museum would go on to house their most important paintings and artifacts. This collection would be the biggest and best in any private collection across China. Their prestige would be at the highest point and they would become the most powerful art collectors in all of China. But that wasn't enough. You see, Lu still had a desire to be recognized on a global stage for his love of art and his power as an art mogul. So in 2015, while bidding on the phone, Lu would be one of six bidders battling for the most expensive pieces of art in history. They were bidding on Modigliani's new couche, which was quickly rising in price during the fierce auction until the piece hit 170 million US dollars. The only person to claim that price would be Lu. And with three clacks of the hammer, the winner for this extremely expensive art piece would become Mr. Lu Yichin. And as always, Lu would pay using debt. And so, he used his Amex Black Unlimited card to pay for this painting and making it the most expensive credit card purchase in history. Many say he paid it off instantly, only wanting to collect the points on the card, which would make that purchase quite smart. But that was back in 2015. You see, Lu has now amassed enough art to own two museums in China. But this year, in 2023, Lu has begun to quietly sell off some of his art. And his reason? Low space. Do you think that's his real motive? Or is he making a quiet escape from China right now while the world is distracted with all these economic issues and wars? Only time will tell. That's all for today. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.